Hey everybody, Ann here and Papa. It's a new routine. When I get up in the morning, he no longer gets let out the gate. He gets to be on a leash and he has to go for a walk with Mama. I don't think he likes it much, but that's the way it's got to be. I gotta tell you, it's already hot outside. I got the generator going, the air conditioning going, and my back is absolutely killing me. It is absolutely, I have trouble walking. Um, I went into town a little bit earlier and I got the neighbor family their money. So I'm going to show you a few screenshots here in a minute um, of how much we've gotten them so far. Um, and she's going to do a little video and send it to me so I can upload it and in include it in this one. Hey, right, come on, Papa. Here's a screenshot of the donations thus far. I've blurred out their last names for obvious reasons. Um, you can tell uh, Donna was the first one. Um, she sent $100, of course, PayPal takes their cut. Whew, big cut. And uh, then you can see Theram, she sent, not, uh, not $9.22, she sent $10. Judy sent $100. Megan, $20. Kelly, now, Kelly sent $20, and they didn't take anything out, so I don't know what happened differently there, but that's a good bit of money. So, I'm just going to show you my calculations, so you could double check me. Here we go. I've added it all together. The minus 21 is uh, the money she gave back to me because we split. I gave her, I went over and gave her $40 yesterday because she had spent that much on, actually $42 on the initial shots and the sprays and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so she wanted to give me half of that back. So um, she got $220 today. It actually cost me uh, $6. Six fifty <laughs> to withdraw the crash, if you can believe that. So she wanted to give me some of that back, but um, yeah, I think my calculations are right. I'm just so tired right now, you guys. I'm just exhausted. After I made that part of the video, another five dollars came in, so they're going to get that too. Um, I haven't received her little video that she said she's going to make and some screenshots of the sheep. So I don't know if they'll be included. Um, I just want to get this uploaded and done. Um, I'm exhausted. I couldn't get comfortable last night. And I did take Motrin. And that did help a little bit today. But um, my whole property is uneven ground. And then my left foot hurts. So if I'm like, if I if I step on something with my foot and I lose my balance, then I, my back catches. And that's just awful. So I didn't even let the baby chicks outside. I didn't want to have to bend down and scoop them up and bring them back in so uh yeah papa's been going for walks and that's i mean he's just gonna have to get used to that he hasn't done his number two yet today um but he's just gonna have to understand you know he's got to be by mama's side or or in the yard and that's all there is to it um neighbor lady does report that the sheep are doing better um they're eating they're up roaming around they're drinking um, so she's just watching, she's fretting over them, um, all the time. So, she's thrilled, her family is thrilled. Um, naturally when neighbor dad got home last night and saw the sheep, it, well, it, it, it wasn't good. Um, I will tell you that, uh, Harley, their dog, they rehomed her so that's going to be fine um she's not going to be around anymore and their other two dogs are inside the house they don't get into the sheep yard it was just it was just harley and just papa so the only saving grace is that papa didn't have any blood on his mouth in his face on his teeth no wool or anything but like i said uh he was wet from the chest down I said it in the comment section on my last video. He was wet from the chest down, so they've got a large water trough in there, big enough to fit him um, in it. Uh, so I think he got up in that water. And um, 
I don't know. Maybe he didn't do anything. Maybe he did. All I know is that amount of damage could not have been done to those two sheep with just one dog. Even if it was just Papa. There's no way. Um, there had to been two cohorts in there doing their thing. But the sheep are going to be okay. Um, they're going to be able to get ongoing care now. And anything that they don't have to spend on like veterinary type stuff. Um, they're talking about an electric fence. They're talking about um, security cameras. Ho however, I've got two um, two trail cams, and I've told them they're welcome to one of them. Um, so, uh, neighbor dad shored up the yard last night, um, got all the weak points. There was really only two weak points. Um, that run, it's a very large run. I don't know. It's probably like a quarter of an acre. It's a, it's a large, large pen. Um, he had built it so nicely, but there was one spot that I think that they could get up underneath, so he fixed that. So, um, anything extra, they'll be able to shore up that yard, um, and make sure that they've got plenty of the spray and the antibiotics for the sheep. Um, so I think they're going to be okay. Um, nevertheless, I didn't have a good night's sleep last night just because, well, I was worried and I was... I was in pain. I spent the whole freaking day bawling my eyes out. And um, one thing that I don't know if I told you, but the sheep that he got, he got from his uncle. And his uncle is, um, well, he's got cancer right now, and he's not doing so hot. That's why neighbor family went and picked up the sheep, because he couldn't take care of him anymore. So there's sentimental value attached to those sheep. Not only sentimental value, but um, they wanted to raise sheep as part of their income. So it was just one boy sheep. It's, it is. They're still there. One boy sheep, one girl sheep. And they're not even full-grown adults yet, but they're not tiny. Um, but So there's sentimental value. There was potential financial loss. But I think that y'all pulled together for this family and have helped them tremendously tremendously so as soon as she gets me the video I'll show it to you I think I'm gonna go ahead and just upload this because I'm tired I just want to lay down and take a nap but I did want to give you guys an update and I just want to say thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart um, she will tell you on camera that she's viewed my PayPal log and the monies that I've given her and all that so you will understand it's all on the up and up Anyhow, I look terrible. I need to go lay down and take a nap or something. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.